type of she was it when you lost me Got straight back to it, you don't miss it Today is kind of a busy day. I just had a meeting with an artist and then I had a message off my agent to say I have a self-tape that's due tomorrow. I'm playing a gig tonight, so I need to send it today. My train is at three. Time is currently 20 to two. I need to literally so quickly put my makeup on and get this filmed. Can't tell you what it's about, obviously. But let's do this with haste. I wasn't feeling super anxious this morning. Um, I left everything till super last minute. What's <laughs> new? Nothing. I literally, I booked my train ticket last minute, planned out everything that needs doing last minute, and leaving last minute, but no. So I'm doing a gig tonight in London. I'm doing an open mic because we went to this one in LCCM, which is a London music college. And they have these really cool like Monday industry insights day where they bring in someone who is in the industry, is in the music industry. They have a talk, they talk through what they do and stuff. Then there's an open mic. And we went before, we performed the song Trophy. I'll insert a little clip here. Trophy in your hand is what I can't let you go. Boy, you really know me. When you're holding up that trophy. I say we because my guitarist friend Harry is literally a lifesaver and he literally does all of the shows. So shout out to Harry. But I thought, oh, we have this brand new song called Dizzy. I quite like it. It's being well received by people that have been listening to it. So I thought it would be better just to have it on film, you know? So we have a filmed version. Just gotta remember, I'm okay for time. It's cool. This is a very short self tape, like, not really any lines, just sort of improvising. Well, a very busy week, so I'm staying near London at the minute. And today we're going to London to do the show. So I was nearly offered this creatives in residency residency with the University of London. And the main reason that I didn't get it was because I don't live in London, which fair enough. They didn't want me to like pay for the train and whatever, but they did want me to come in and see the school and have a chat about how we could possibly work together. <laughs> That's very exciting. So I just need to figure out a time to go meet with the Dean of the students of the school. I really want to do this art gallery. I grabbed my friend who does all my photography stuff, by the way, he's amazing. And I was saying like, I wanna start an exhibition. I wanna put on a little exhibition to showcase different artists and put my stuff on and also put your stuff on. And he was like, that's amazing. Because also we very much like need accountability to be productive people. I interviewed for this residency. There was loads of people on the call, including like the director of Erdan. As a drama school girlie, someone that went to drama school. That was really exciting. And they were so nice. Uh, and they really liked my work. And I told them about, about Healing for Artists, which is this community that I started because basically two years ago, I completely burnt out to the point where I started getting seizures or out of the blue, seizures every day. And I was literally having like 10 every day. So stressful, it took ages to figure out like what it was. And now I'm in like seizure therapy. But it just took ages to just like know what the problem was in the first place. So Healing for Artists was sort of born out of that because I wanted to help other people like not burn out and build a sustainable career as artists. But also like it's for my own sanity. So I have things to do to keep your mind on, to create something helpful, meaningful and Beautiful. All the foals. And they really liked my idea. I really wanted to run some wellness workshops and like zine making, sort of journaling. I love my journal. 
Um, I don't want to show you it properly, but here's a little flick through. This is like a new chapter. So like doing stickering with people because it's quite therapeutic, doing zine making, making your own zine. So cute, so therapeutic. And also like just so good to have that community. Also do absolute beginner dance workshops, absolute beginner. We had people at this last workshop that I put on with the amazing Janetta, who is also an ethereal pop princess. We put on this dance workshop at Base Dance Studios this year for absolute beginners and some absolute beginners showed up and everyone did the dance so well. Everyone smashed it. They were shook, we were shook. It was incredible. And I wanna do more stuff like that in and around London and get an in-person vibe going. I also do the self-tape challenges for actors, which is this free self-tape challenge that anyone who does acting or wants to do acting can get involved in. I'll link, this is all in the Healing for Artists Substack and blog, which I'll link below. I feel like my skin is looking a bit dull today. So I'm tired. So yeah, I need to quickly finish doing this makeup so I can do this self-tape, send the self-tape, and finish getting ready, go to London, do the gig. I'm meeting Harry at the Roundhouse, which is this really cool venue for young 18 to 25 year olds. You need to know about the Roundhouse if you live near London. I'll show you. There weren't any rehearsal spaces, so we literally had to book um, <laughs> like the computer room. So that's really funny, but basically Harry's house is like an extra hour away from where I get off the train. So I was like, it would be a lot easier to meet in Camden if you can get there because otherwise it's just gonna take me ages to get to your house and then we won't have any time for rehearsal. So that's what we're doing going to Camden. I saw someone on TikTok that had a too good to go bag from Harrods. But then when I looked at it, there was no Harrods on the Too Good To Go app. Was it an ad? Is it not available to everyone? I don't know, but I was disappointed. I actually knew as well, so I went away. I'm away at the minute for a week. I knew it. I was like, as soon as I go away, I'm going to get a self-tape through. But I didn't bring my tripod or anything. So I was a bit like, hope it works out okay. It kind of has, because I think I do have a mini light. And then I'm gonna get my auntie to stand up and like film. Oh, yeah. So hopefully it will go okay. I'd show you that like that is against all uh, rules. You know, you gotta keep it confidential, keep the project confidential, keep the any materials that they send you very confidential you can't just like share it on the internet this is so good it's like a blush liquid blush and lips from the brand 1999 i actually won this at um from the l collective i won a competition with them i never win competitions but i got this this highlighting pencil which is quite cute and I don't remember what the third thing is actually. I cannot remember, but I got three things. I hate this eyeliner. I literally just bought it. It's from Maybelline, Hyper Precise. Yeah, this is the tip that I love normally, but it's so dry. I've literally not even had it long. I forgot to do eyeshadow. I haven't had it long, but it's super dry and it's not working for me. <laughs> Help! I want some extra blush. Make me feel alive. This blush is super like sparkly chrome. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and also I'm trying to get my hair to dry naturally. There's a lot of hair though. <sighs> Okay, it should be dry in a minute. This is the palette that I'm using today. Um, Bill's mum actually got it for me. It's just so nice of her. Ah, 
Now that I've nearly got my makeup on, I do feel a little bit more relaxed. I do just need to go over the script. There's no script, why did I say the script? I need to go over the self tape brief and figure out what I'm actually gonna do. Because even though it says improvise, you need to have like a little idea of what you will do. Otherwise, it looks a bit like, what am I doing? What's going on? I just went in with this naked color and let's hit it with the halo. This color is so pretty. Yeah, we're back on the YouTube game. I know that I keep coming on here and saying like, I'm back on the YouTube game and then I literally post once a month. But, I don't know, post once a month for two weeks and then post for a year later or half a year later. Sorry about that. I'm really, really actually trying now. It's time that things moved in a direction quickly, you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to get my song, my debut single to come out. It's called We Don't Fit. It's really good, but it's just taken months and months and months and I feel like it shouldn't be taking this long. But it's because I just get too scared to make the progress and I like cut it off at the source. So really I've been in my own way. Essentially, back to this. It might just be that this one's just dry, but I bought it and it was like this and I can't drive because of my seizures and I don't live near the super drug store. So I couldn't go back and return it or anything. I just hate it because I don't know if you can see, but it's not dark enough on the corner. So I normally do my eyeliner, just like swipe and then it's done, but not with this. That's as good as we're getting. I hate that it's not equal. Oh well. Oh my gosh, it's two. Okay, I'm getting really stressed now. I got this at um, the Superdrug event, I think last year. And they had these free like customizable stands. So one of the artists drew my name and I had the cute little star cherries on. Let me finish it off. I forgot to do mascara. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves is rushing. I like to have enough time to get ready but don't have to run around. Cause I just, I hate it. Cause then you get hot and sweaty and then you're on the train or drenched in your own sweat and stress. I just can't deal with it. Don't have the patience. It's pointless, you know? Cause you just know like I did that to myself. I'm the one that didn't get up on time and just the stress is never worth it. I do try and be, leave enough time. So for me, like, I am always naturally late to everything, but it's because I didn't have like structure. So now I know how long it takes. Like I kind of knew that my makeup was gonna take half an hour. Although it's only been 22 minutes and I'm done. So you can get your makeup on in 25 minutes under. And that's with the chatting. This one's from some sort of Spanish, store, like a grocery shop. But I like how it's magnetic, wait. <laughs> so satisfying. And this is in the shade 212. This is the look. And this is my makeup bag. I think it's from Timu or Sheen or something. It's the viral zip. Time is currently two o'clock. Need to go at 2.40. So I need to film the self tape. Like I have someone else's <laughs> song that's playing over this. You have someone else's song? Yeah. Pretty to see your pretty face. Finally I can see someone I can't replace. I would love you but I don't know how. Cause I learned numbers from this house. You were first. But I Okay, Riff. Mm -hmm. I wasn't meant to do that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> the Roundhouse Studios are so nice. I used to have a membership here when I was in like second year at drama school. Um, and I only, I lived half an hour walk from Camden. So I would literally sometimes walk here. Half an hour walk to the Roundhouse and then the studios are like two pound something crazy like that you pay for like a membership it's like 20 pound a year 18 to 25 year olds really good if you are near Camden I would recommend I would get another pass now but I don't live in London so it's, she's not worth it but I'm stealing my guitarist Harry's pass for today or I'm a, I'm a guess ended up going more in the traditional A&R direction and then Ian actually uh went in a slightly different direction. Hi everyone. I started writing a music project back in drama school a few years ago. And then two years ago, I randomly started getting seizures out of the blue from burnout. So this music project is kind of about healing and growing through difficult relationships and growing mindset. And this is the latest song. It's called Dizzy. And it goes like this. It's up to me to keep happy, find inner peace, to tame the beast, to find release, again for peace, to refocus on the you and me. I know it's not easy to stay when you feel away, and we'll be okay, but the area's gray, and that's a story for another day. How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy, making me dizzy. Made me turn on mode survival It's making me dizzy, making me dizzy It's not a fight if we don't speak Keep it unhealthy, now we're sharing jealousy How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy, making me dizzy The damage is done and nobody won We did it for love and life messed it up Is that my fault? That's what he said Made me search for someone to hear me instead Plan opposite of hello But I won't quit And so We'll be okay But the air is grey That's still a story for another day How would we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy Making me dizzy Made me turn on mode survival It's making me dizzy Making me dizzy it's not a fight if we don't speak, keep it unhealthy, no sharing jealousy. How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy, making me dizzy. I can't hear over the confusion, no answer to my solution, no answer to my conversation, no space for my situation. I can't hear over the confusion, no answer to my solution, no answer to my conversation, no space for my situation. How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy, making me dizzy. Mainly turn on mode survival It's making me dizzy It's making me dizzy It's not a fight if we don't speak Keep it unhealthy No sharing jealousy How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy It's making me dizzy How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy Making me dizzy Make me turn on mode survival It's making me dizzy Making me dizzy It's not a fight if we don't speak Keep it unhealthy No sharing jealousy How do we get into another spiral? It's making me dizzy It's making me dizzy Thank you This looks amazing Is it good? It's a prawn tail Thank you. 